Taco Tuesday is a everyday occasion here at my house. And today we are making some delicious barilla tacos. Guys, these are just next level amazing. So rich, so much flavors going on with this one. I'm about to show you how it's done. Let's get started. So to begin, we're gonna start with these dried chilies. These can be found at your local supermarket. These are so good and they're gonna add so much flavor to our dish. So you wanna go ahead and grab you, you know, some kitchen shears, cut off the stems, as well as try to get as much seeds out of these dried chilies as possible. It's kind of hard to get every single seed, but just try to get as much out of there as you can. And guys, let me know in the comments below, have you had yourself some burrito tacos before? If not, what are you waiting on? Guys, these, these are special. These are very, very special, guys. Um, I, in my humble opinion, ain't no other taco like it. It's one of the best, if not the best taco ever. All right, this is how you should be looking once you got rid of all your stems and your seeds and whatnot. You wanna go ahead and get them in a saucepan. Pull up about, I would say, two cups of some low sodium beef broth. You wanna get that to a little bit of a boil just for a couple minutes till they're nice and soft and you know, they're a little bit more pliable as you see on the screen here. Once that's all said and done, get you a blender and get all of that goodness in that blender guys get all of those those dried up chilies that are now moistened up get those in there as well as a whole onion we're gonna also throw in a bunch of garlic cloves gotta love some garlic guys it's gonna add so much to this you're gonna also toss in about one tomato and we're also gonna toss in one of these chipotle peppers. This is the one that's in the adobo sauce. Go ahead and toss one of them in there. If you like your stuff a little bit more spicy, I'll throw in a couple if you like yourself, you know, you like yourself a little bit of spicy, but I'm just gonna put one. And I'm also gonna toss in about a tablespoon of some chicken bouillon. Put that in there as well. And we're gonna blend it up, blend it up, blend it up, blend it up, guys, man. This is the base of the goodness right here. This is the flavor right here. As you can see, you should have a consistency looking just like this, guys. My goodness. This is gonna bring all the flavor out, I'm telling you guys. So you wanna go ahead and grab you some, some pot roast beef. Um, go ahead and chop it up into nice size cubes. This is gonna help it cook a little quicker and it's gonna you know, be easier when we sear it and whatnot. Let's go ahead and chop it up just like so. So you're gonna go ahead and drizzle a little bit of olive oil on your beef, give it a nice luxurious massage, you know? Massage it up, get that all up in there. Now we're gonna season up our beef proper because you know that's what we do around here. Ain't nothing bland on this channel whatsoever at all because you know that's, you know we don't do bland around here, you know what I mean? So go ahead and go crazy with the seasoning, go ham and uh, dust that up proper. Get that all up in there. Get that season up really, 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 really nice, guys. Now go ahead and get your pot nice and hot. Drizzle a little bit of oil in that thing as well. And you're gonna sear up this beef nice and proper, guys. Get all the beef up in the pan.
once that first side has a beautiful crust go ahead and give it a flip so that other side can get that beautiful crust going as well Now that second side is all seared up, looking beautiful. Go ahead and toss in that goodness that we blended up earlier. Get that in the pot as well as about, I would say another two cups of that low sodium beef broth. Get that in there as well. And we are going to top this off and it is going to cook for a good while, guys, because when this is done, you're not going to need a fork to tear this meat apart. You're going to need a spoon. You're going to let it go for about two and a half to three hours on low. And I did add a couple springs of thyme and a couple bay leaves that I forgot to show you guys in the camera. I apologize, but the bay leaves are in there. The springs of thyme are in there, guys. And guys, go ahead and transfer this meat into a bowl so we can break it down. And this is how you know when your meat is tender, guys. You don't need no fork to tear this meat apart. Grab you a spoon. When you grab that spoon to bust this meat down, that's how you know that meat is right. That meat is tender. I'm trying to tell you, you don't need nothing but a spoon, guys. I'm trying to let you know. All right, guys, our meat is good to go. Look at also oh, delicious. Go ahead and get you a cast iron pan. Drizzle a little bit of oil in there. Grab you a tortilla for this video. We are using flour tortillas, but if you like corn tortillas, go ahead and use corn. I love flour. Think it tastes better in my humble opinion go ahead and toss that in that goodness like that toss it in all that goodness just like so guys dip it in there all right now go ahead and slap it on that cast iron pan and let it sizzle grab you a handful of that good old juicy delicious beef slap that on the tortilla as well we is not stopping there. We is not done. Go grab you a handful of mozzarella cheese. Toss that on there. Go ahead and grab you some onion. After that, put that on there as well. Once that onion is on that taco, we cannot forget the cilantro, guys. Get that cilantro on your taco, guys. Just like so. And you're gonna see me grab my little my little uh, uh spatula here and we are gonna fold this taco up some proper fold it up guys just like so and we're gonna press it down as well let that thing sizzle up get that taco crispy guys crispy get that burrito taco nice and crispy just like so guys press it down let it do its thing once that's all said and done, give it a flip so the other side could be just as beautiful as the first one. You're going to see the flip in a second here, guys, and it is something beautiful. I'm trying to let you know. I'm trying to let you know. Guys, these tacos, man, I'm trying to tell you, these are next level, guys. I cannot wait for you guys to try it if you haven't already. Give it a flip. Look at the crust on that taco right there. Look at that. How beautiful does that look to you guys? And this is the end result. This is it. This is love, guys. This is what love feels like. Love is this right here in front of your eyes. And it is beautiful. Go ahead and grab your taco. Dip it in that goodness. Just like so. And go ahead and take you a nice juicy bite so you can feel good like me. <laughs> These are amazing. I cannot wait for you guys to try them. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. I will see you on the next one. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe if you haven't already. Deuces, guys.